Hey, what's up, YouTube? Stevie Cheetah here at Universal Studios Hollywood in California. And I came here to bring you some tips and tricks and some secret, not so well known facts about the most famous uh, city park, the most famous amusement park in the entire city of Los Angeles, Universal Studios Hollywood, California. There it is, the Universal Studios Hollywood uh, sign with a great big American flag waving. This is where movie magic is made, folks. Everybody from all over the world is coming here now to get in on a little bit of Hollywood red carpet magic. And I'm giving you the tips. Excuse me, sorry. They got the Saddle Ranch Chop House. Sorry, I don't know if you can see this. They got the uh, Saddle Ranch Chop House open every day for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and late supper if you're into another post after dinner, like a second dinner. They got it all. They got a stagecoach with a lovely, la ooh, two lovely ladies. Don't mind if I do. I'll see you ladies later if I play my cards right in the old saloon which looks like a restaurant of some type. But they got prime rib and chicken and anything you want here at California uh, Universal Studios, Great Amer or just Universal Studios Hollywood, California. I'm going in, can't wait to sink my teeth into some of that movie magic for you guys. Here come the tips. Hey guys, I made it through security and I can't tell you how excited I am to see that big spinning Universal Studios globe and fountain combo. The kids love it. Come on down to Universal Studios. Look at that thing go. Oh boy, here we go. Did you ever think you'd see Steve Uchida walk in the red carpet at the Oscars? I feel like George Clooney taking a stroll on the real red carpet here at Universal Studios. You can be a celeb you can become a celebrity here. This is where you go to be discovered in Hollywood. So come down here and put on your makeup and be the best you if you're an actor because this is where the movie magic happens and where they film every single movie you've seen in Hollywood, California. I'm gonna go in now. It's lights, camera, action here at the Universal. They've got the lady with a uh, big microphone on a pole, a cameraman, and what I can only assume is the artistic uh, director framing his shot, making dreams come true, and making movie magic reality here in Hollywood, California. Can't believe I'm here. Can't wait to see some rides and see some of that movie magic being made. Here I go. Stay tuned for the secret tips they don't exactly want you to know about in Universal. Whoa! Did someone order a mummy? It's Halloween. Halloween's over, but it's never not Halloween here at Universal Studios. Look out, little girl. He's dead. Whoa! Oh, man. Hope she doesn't remember that. What's up, YouTube? I know what you're thinking. Am I watching one of the Harry Potter films? Not exactly. I'm in Universal Studios Hollywood, Beverly Hills, California, and I am exploring the actual movie set from Harry Potter and the Harry Potter movies. All of those films they filmed with the, all of the magic and the mystery and all of the wizards and the butterbeer and the pointy buildings. Everything is here. And I gotta say, I am pretty thrilled to be part of movie magic history in Universal Studios, California, Hollywood, California. Okay, guys, no muggles allowed. I'll bring you more as I find it. See you soon. There's a sign up here that says Hogsmeade, I think. And it says, please respect the spell limit. But that is definitely going to be hard to do because I'm in the actual movie set where they filmed all of the Harry Potter movies. All, I think there's seven or eight in films in the series and they were all filmed right here at Universal Studios in Beverly Hills, Hollywood, California. So if you feel like becoming a star, come on down 
This is the coolest theme park around. You will never ever have a more uh, realistic Harry Potter experience because this is where they really filmed the whole thing. That's the honey, the store where they go get the candy. They got that store for tricks and jokes and they got that big train and they've got it all. Get down here to Universal Studios, Hollywood. So we are actually allowed to go walk behind the scenes here into Harry Potter's world. And we'll step into the shoes of Hermione Granger or Ron Weasley or whoever you want to be. You can be it all here at Harry Potter Land and inside of Universal. And I'm so excited to be here that I am just levi levitating like a Leviosa spell has been cast upon me. And uh, I'm going to keep reviewing all the trick tips and tricks from inside the park. Coming right back. Hey, they got Butterbeer. They got the whole big barrel of it over there. Uh-oh, better not find me over there later, you know what I mean? Getting a little rowdy in the, into the Harry Potter stuff. They even got the big train from Harry Potter right there, ready to take you all the way off to Hogwarts, the school for wizards. It's the Hogwarts Express, and I am coming to you live from the Harry Potter Express World at the Universal Studios theme park in Orlando, Florida. What's up, YouTube? Stevie Chuda here for a behind the scenes extra special sneak peek at one of the Easter eggs inside of Universal Studios Hollywood, California. So I'm now, I'm in Harry Potter World, which is part, just part of the value that you get for entering into the, the, uh, the whole big park. So it's where they shot all of Harry Potter movies. This is the actual set they use. But here, I'm gonna show you an Easter egg today. So if you find the, uh, if you find the big split rock, and then if you turn exactly 175 or 76 degrees around, you can see what is plainly a modern car that is kind of supposed to be hidden but you can still see it peeking up. And this is right next to the big castle, from, it's Harry Potter castle that you can see plainly above it. So this car is actually a hidden Easter egg um, that's funny because it's not, obviously Harry Potter takes place in medieval times, yet there's a modern car uh, hidden away if you know where to look. So again, look for the big double rock. The sign that says Hogsmeade, the Butterbeer stand, up to the lamp post. Then you'll see the fans, and if you keep rotating, you will then see a little blue car that is a bit of a joke that uh, the theme park designers left there because, I don't know, does this look like it makes any sense? A modern car in an old-timey castle. Good one, guys. We get it. And now that you know where to look, get out there to Harry Potter Land and find more hidden tips and tricks. Coming back at you with some more. What's the biggest movie of 2017? Kevin Costner's Waterworld. And I'm coming to you live from Universal Studios theme park in Hollywood, California at the new Waterworld uh, attraction. I don't know if it's a ride or some sort of star tour. Oops, sorry. Uh, thing, but it looks like the Kevin Costner Supreme um, water. It looks like actual water world from that old movie. I don't know. I don't know why it is, This is being featured right now, but I think it is actually uh, Is this the Kevin Costner water world? Yeah. Really? Yeah, like the like yeah, it's based on the film. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a tip at the Universal Studios uh, Hollywood Come to Mel's Diner Hamburgers. Here's a trick they don't want you to know about. Follow me. If you go to the left side of the restaurant itself, there's actually a treasure trove of condiments like mustard and ketchup and mayonnaise and straws that you can just pick up and for free. You don't have to buy any of the hamburgers. I, they don't want you to know this, but you don't have to get anything if you forgot to pack a lunch and you forgot to bring a quality food, say no more because there are plenty of mustards and forks 
for free at Universal Studios Diner. Mel at Mel's Diner. Now that's more of a hack than a secret tip, so I'll be coming back at you with more hacks and tips about tricks and secret hacks at Universal Studio. All right. It's the kids park, the kid corner of this uh, little super silly fun park for the little kids in the heart of downtown California's big extreme adventure. I mean, uh, Universal Studios theme park. And look at this, for the kids, imagine if you were a little one, just a little kid, you come in, you can go in that thing's mouth, even the old men would have fun here. The strongman competition. All right, this time the winner. Bingo, we got a winner here at Universal Studios. We got a green guy, a big pink guy. I don't, I don't know, I don't recognize those from any series. But I, ha I also haven't seen the Minions movies, so I don't know anything about the Minions, and I don't, frankly, like enjoy the characters. They don't strike me as charming, or I can't understand a word they say. So if that isn't aggravating to you, it looks like there's a lot of minion stuff here. But I'm saying no thanks and walking out. You can come to this scenic, beautiful view of downtown Los Angeles. Now this is where they make every single movie you've seen. This is where they shoot all the big budget flicks, all the X-Men movies, all the Supermen, all of the Batman. There, you can actually see, if I'm zooming in, you can see the golf course that they filmed the legendary movie, both Caddyshack Billy Madison and all of the golf movies you've ever seen, that's that famous course where they shot all of that movie magic, but you can really see it. So if you stand up on the smoking section at uh, Universal Studios, which is also where they got the idea to have um, the masked Jim Carrey say, smoking. So, Smoke them if you got them, because we got more fun than tricks and hacks to fun. Knock, knock, who's there? Ah, uh, les palais, si in the rotunda. I don't know, ooh, ooh, ooh la la. I don't know what the French part means, but you got my attention. There's little France with a bistro and Funland, silly Funland. It's like they've recreated all of the entirety of Paris, France. This is where every single movie that you see from Hollywood that has a French scene in it, where they're in Paris, France, and you think, God, they flew all those actors all the way to Paris, France? They didn't. This is one of uh, Hollywood's biggest tricks, is that they made a fake tiny France so that they could in fact film all of the French things they want in their own backyard, not a, not even a 20 minute drive from all of the major LA Hollywood studios. So we got a little fake France. The Lion King is here. <laughs> Get a load of this. Simba from The Lion King, actually here at Universal Studios as we speak, getting ready for a big battle with Scar. But first, gonna hug some kids at Universal Studios. Oh, you two, can you hear my tummy grumbling? I'm getting a little bit hungry. That's why I'm stopping by the Orville, Orville Redenbacher's Hot Popcorn Fresh stand. They got all these little popcorn stands set up all over the park so that you can enjoy a hot bag of corn if you get hungry at all. Come on by and get a hot bag. It's popcorn. It's like the normal popcorn you've had everywhere your whole life, but it's here in uh, famous Hollywood movie uh, theme park, Universal Studio. They got Mike Myers from the Halloween movie. A big face version. They got men's, room, men's rooms and women's rooms. Any kind of bathroom you want. They got them both. So that wraps it up from Universal Studios Hollywood. Look at that beautiful Hollywood sunset. Unbelievable. This is the city where dreams are made and uh, fulfilled every day. 
And if you feel like you should be a movie star, well, and I kind of trying to get the exposure right. I don't want to have that sun glaring, but I also want to kind of get that building in it. If you want to be, if you want to be a big Hollywood star, come on down to Universal Studios, where you, if you've got the talent and you've got the drive, that's all you need to make it in Hollywood. So come on down now, if you've got the gusto, and become a big star in Universal Studios Hollywood. Stevie Cheetah here, signing off and signing out. Wow, <laughs> one final spook on the way out. We got a Frankenstein. <laughs> so long, big guy. <laughs> and so long, all you little guys, too. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, to the, the, the best Hollywood channel you can find. Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, sorry, somebody said something. I'll see you next time. Hope all your dreams come true. Hope all your uh, big ideas about being a movie star come true. Like that gentleman. Keep up the hard work filming. Is that Larry? It's Larry David. No. No, it's just a man. But he's at Universal Studios hoping his dreams come true. Crossing the street. Sunset going down its Sunset Strip on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. Classic Street Sunset Boulevard. You've heard of it. It's the Hollywood streets and the Hollywood treats. Another man. Look at him. Head full of dreams. Can't believe he's going to make it big and be George Clooney too at Universal Studios Theme Park in Hollywood, California. I don't know what that guy's doing, but he's just, he's been there for quite a while. This gentleman is, he seems to be kind of like, it's its like he's waiting for a ride or a, I don't know. But I'm gonna keep an eye on, on him to make sure. Okay, he's going, he's crossing where there's not a walk. There's no walk. He's talking, he's talking to the other guy we saw, guys. They are together. And they are a duo. Which is just exactly what I'm talking about when I say that Hollywood is full of magic. And that the spirit of the people here is friendly and just approachable. Good luck, you guys. They're going to make it big. And so will you. At the Beverly Hills Universal Studios. Good night, everybody.